my initial reaction to the governor's speech, unfortunately, was disappointment. I'm disappointed because even though he presented a lot of good ideas, he failed to address the primary issues that are challenging people back in the communities across the state. I think the speech did not bring us closer to, to a solution. I, I believe that he presented, like as I said earlier, good ideas, but nothing to address the challenges we're facing now with the MAP grant. We have 130,000 students that are waiting to see if they'll even be able to go to college. And we have you know, 15,000 children, or 10,000 children that are not able to get childcare right now because the copay is so high that many parents are unable to get their kids in childcare. So those are the issues I think are some of the issues that are very important. But what was most important to me is that he ignored the fact that we have an exorbitant amount of cost. We're mounting, we're amassing an exorbitant amount of cost for this state to undertake. And it's not even seen out in the public yet because we don't recognize what it costs us not to do some of the things that we need to be doing right now for our seniors and for our youth. I would have liked to have heard that he understands that when you shut down a program like Teen Reach, which takes care of about 15,000 youth after school and keep them out of trouble because during the hours, three hours after they get out of school, they are likely to become, more likely to become victims or perpetrators of crime. And, you know, he ignored the fact that we have these youth that are roaming our streets now with nothing to do and likely uh, probably are going to get in trouble, many of them. Also, he ignored the fact that adult uh, redeploy Illinois has been shut down in 23 counties and that program diverts youth from, from prison. And so the youth are not in the juvenile justice system. They get community sanctions and they're able to come back and be you know, rehabilitated. But instead, he shut those programs down by not passing a budget. He has not given us the leadership we need to bring this state into a state of, of fiscal responsibility, as far as I'm concerned. In February, we have 84,000 seniors that will lose meals on wheels. That simply means that those 84,000 seniors that depend on those meals being delivered to their homes will now be faced with the question, do, do they have to go into a nursing home? And if they go into a nursing home, who pays for that but us? And even the cervical cancer screenings and the breast cancer screenings, we could go on and on. Thousands, 15,000 women are no longer eligible or no longer able to get access to those services. So we're not going to just pay for the screening, we're going to pay for the treatment, which is going to be far higher. We're not going to pay for the after school program, we're going to pay for the prisons, which is far higher. We're not going to just pay for the food meals anymore. We're going to pay for institution, get them institutionalized in the nursing homes. These are the things that I believe the governor should have looked at, and any businessman, I think, should look at the whole cost of what he's doing in order to be sure that he's not actually costing himself more, costing the state more, uh, and not bringing us back into a place of stability. He's a fail, he has failed in leadership, in my opinion.